What's it going to be like to face those guys? Uh, definitely going to be a good experience. It's fun. Um, just focus on getting our, our preparation right right now, though. So. How, uh, I guess, emotionally, how does it feel to face you know a bunch of guys that used to play with? Like I said, man, it's going to be a, a great feeling, but uh, it's just the next game for me. Do you still talk to some of your former teammates? Yeah, of course. Um, we have a great relationship, man. Me and the guys close. So, I mean, it was it was hard to leave, but I'm here now, and I'm happy to be with these guys. And it's working. Can it help your teammates at all that you you know you played for this team as recently as part of last season. Oh yeah, most definitely. I, um, I tell them things that they, they should look out for. Um, some things that I've seen on film and then some things that I already know. So just to, to help these guys out, because I, I mean, we all want to win, so. What's, what's the difference between University of Miami, the culture here, basically? What's the thing that you say, wow, this is really different from Virginia Tech? Um, shoot, the amount of players that just come back here and just show love. The national championships, etc. Man, it's, it's it's just a little bit different vibe. Man. It's a tradition. What are you studying? You're getting your master's, right? Yes, ma'am. In what? Liberal arts. Liberal arts. Yes. How about living here? How is it a lot different from uh, <laughs> Black? The traffic is way different. People drive crazy out here, so right? it's, it's a little bit different. Okay. So when you talk to the guys back in Blacksburg, how are they doing? Like, you know, how do they feel about their team? Um, I mean, just like every team, you you gonna feel confident about your team. You're not gonna bash your team or anything like that. But I mean, they have nothing but good things to say. So. They played a pretty good game at Boston College. They didn't win it, but they seemed like they played pretty well. Right. Um, I, I guess um, you're looking at their offense. Um, Ryan Willis, you know, it seems like he can throw the ball pretty well. Yeah, I mean, Willis is a good quarterback, man. Um, I respect his game. But, I mean, at the end of the day, he's he's wearing VT and I'm wearing the U, so I gotta get after him. For you to get your first sack this past game, um, what did that feel like for you, you know, kind of just to get more traction? I um, feel good, but I'm not satisfied. Um, it took me what, four games to get one sack. So I'm pissed off about that. For real, for real, so there's more to come. Why, why are you in, by the way? Why are you in? Yeah. I just feel like the tradition they had, the type of defense that they had, uh, the people that I was going to be around, I just felt like it was a Home outside of the home. How is Manny Diaz different from Justin Fuente? Um, it's a little bit more energy. He's more of a, a player's coach. Mm -hmm. Give a look a back at Washington. Like regrets or wish it didn't end the way it ended at Virginia Tech? Nah, I believe God has a plan for, for everybody. You know? So, I mean, I just take the good with the bad. He's wrong with it, honestly. Um, like I said, I'm happy to be here. The position I'm in, I, mean, I, got, I ended up getting my degree out of it. What was your degree in it? Property management. Oh, cool. How bad do you want to play in this game? <laughs> That's a real question. <laughs> yeah, that's a real question. I mean, you know. It, I couldn't even uh, express to you how, how bad I want to play. Real, has Manny Diaz talked Last to you about question. it at all? Kind of said, you know, just keep it together. Nah, I mean, I'm a pretty poised guy, you know what I'm saying? But when it, when it comes to game day, that's when I turn it on. You know what I'm I, I turn it on at practice as well. Just practicing, you know what I'm saying, how I want to play. But a game day is a different mode. Great. Thank you, Trevor. Thanks, Trevor.